This week in history, in 2001, America fell victim to acts of terrorism. On September 11, 2001, terrorists affiliated with Al-Qaeda hijacked four commercial passenger jet airliners and carried out a series of suicide missions, sending two of the jets crashing into the World Trade Center in New York. One crashed into the Pentagon in Washington, D.C., and the fourth crashed into a field in Pennsylvania after passengers tried to regain control of the aircraft. The attacks took the nation by surprise. Almost 3,000 people lost their lives that day. As a result, the U.S. declared war on terrorism that still continues to this day. William Penn student Nick Rule remembers where he was that day. I was a ninth grader, um, like first or second week of school, getting ready to go to science class, and I turned on the news like I started to do every morning, and, and uh, it was all over. And uh, I went into my parents' room, and they were sleeping. They both had the day off, and I just said, Mom, Dad, something's going on with the World Trade Centers. And uh, they're like, what are you talking about? And I go, there's a plane that flew into it, or there's a, you know, they're saying a plane flew into it, and they didn't believe me. And so I turned it on, and I go, you know, it's right here, it's right here. And um, they, I've, I don't think I've ever seen my parents so shocked. Um, they didn't have, the words couldn't describe how they felt, and uh, the words couldn't describe how I feel. That was This Week in History.